on Valentine's Day, 2006, I got an email from a professor at Harvard University telling me that I was accepted with a full ride and with a stipend to their PhD program. And it was one of those defining moments in my life that just changed everything. My wife and I were living in this farmhouse. We were house sitting. We were living in Missouri. We were working as pastors. We had no idea what our future held. For me, that moment was so stunning too because um, growing up in the family I grew up in and in the place I grew up in, that was just not on the radar. Like a place like Harvard was like mythical. In fact, I shouldn't, I shouldn't even admit this, but this is actually true. When I applied to Harvard, I wasn't even 100% sure where it was. Like I thought, I think I thought it was like, I knew it was on the East Coast, like somewhere vaguely in some place where really smart people were. But, you know, I grew up in a family. I was the oldest of five kids. Neither of my parents went to college. None of my siblings went to college. My dad worked in a steel factory. My mom was a waitress. And so, yeah, like studying at a school like that and even pursuing college was not even on the radar, was not on anyone's radar, and it was nothing anyone ever even expected of me. So in some ways, my academic journey and my journey to being a professor has been, I don't know, it feels like it's all just like bonus. Like every step was just unexpected and I've been like just climbing up this mountain or charting my own way or I don't know what metaphor to use. Having said that, it's not totally true. I mean, my parents were so loving, so supportive. People encouraged me along the way. But in some ways, it was kind of a lonely journey, something where I just didn't really have a template. I didn't know how to make it work. I didn't know how I could make it work. But there I, there, there I did it, and um, I had my first experience teaching as a master's student, and during that experience, I just fell in love with teaching. I just fell in love with being in front of a group of people. It almost felt kind of like acting, but it was also personal, but it was also these kind of like very, you know, iconic singular engagements. A lecture, a moment, a question, an exchange, an argument, you know? And I just really loved that. And even just going away to college at that very first stage, I went to a, a, a small Christian college very much like George Fox, and, and being there saved my life. Like it showed me this entirely new, bigger world that I would have never had access to. So for me, when I think about how I got started in all of this and my college journey, it's just been about like seeing this bigger world, meeting these people and just having my mind opened by God first and foremost, but also just through the people I met, through the books I read, and just seeing God working through all that in my life has meant everything to me and has, has made me who I am.